Here are the top things to do in Hamilton, New Zealand. Be sure to stay until the end because we'll reveal a lesser known attraction many tourists often miss. Number 9. Visit Lake Hamilton Everyone deserves to escape into an atmosphere that lets them recharge without the typical hustle and bustle of city life. In New Zealand, one of the most peaceful retreats in the country is in the heart of Hamilton. This is where a lot of visitors go to enjoy a pleasant ambiance without distractions. You can take a relaxing walk on the 2.3-mile trail around Lake Hamilton or just chill on a pleasantly sunny day. Regardless, there are so many ways to enjoy Lake Hamilton. If you're with friends or family, this is the perfect spot for a picnic beside the water's edge. You can also make it more romantic with your partner by taking a stroll through the Rose Gardens. Indeed, it's so easy to fall in love again on this spot in Hamilton. Number 8. Trail the Hakaramata Summit If you're in the mood for some adventure, the Hakaramata Trail will give you a heavy dose that will beat your imagination. This trail will take you through some of the most breathtaking views across the Waikato Basin, and the ultimate view of all is at the top of its 1,200 feet high summit. However, it's very important to be in the right gear as you climb this trail, as it can get a bit rough in some areas, but then it's definitely worth it. Returning to the base of the trail from the summit takes only a 1.2 mile trip that would last about 3 hours as it's steep. Interestingly, this is not the only trail around this area, as the Hakadamata Scenic Reserve gives you tons of options. So feel free to put on your explorer hat and get to know this area as much as possible. Number 7. Cycle the Waikato River The longest river in New Zealand is the amazing Waikato River, and the city of Hamilton sits right on the banks of this river. This means that all it takes is a simple walk to get beautiful views of the river scenery every day. However, you can take things up a notch by hiring a bike to ride around the cycle trail following the river. This is a very common activity, so there are tons of bike rental shops around that will assist you for a decent fee. You could cycle on a bike for the Tiawa River Ride, which is about 40 miles, representing riding from north to south of the city. Indeed, several riders have admitted that this is a truly exhilarating experience. Number 6. Explore the Sanctuary Mountain the Sanctuary Mountain in Hamilton offers both an educational and entertaining experience, especially for anyone who loves to witness nature in its most basic form. Known as Mount Mangatatari, this is a wildlife sanctuary located just an hour from Hamilton Central by car or bus. The easy accessibility to this spot means that you don't have to drive through rough terrains to get to this sanctuary. Once there, you can choose between taking a walk around by yourself through the forested mountain or doing this with a guide who will give you more insight into the area. I would definitely recommend the guided walk as their experience will come in handy, especially in taking you to areas where you can spot some rare birds. Also, you shouldn't leave without checking out the Tuatara enclosure, where you'll see a living dinosaur. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 5. Experience the Hobbiton Movie Set For millions of Lord of the Rings fans around the world, visiting the Hobbiton Movie Set is something that you definitely don't want to miss out on. This movie set is the authentic one built for the film series, including The Hobbit. While here, you'll get a chance to walk through the Green Dragon Inn, which gives you a feel of being in the movie. However, this is a real pub, so you shouldn't miss out on the tasty ales and meals that will take your taste buds on an unforgettable journey. No doubt, your imagination will come to life as you witness firsthand the incredible craftsmanship and rural setting that brought the Lord of the Rings series by Peter Jackson to life. Number 4. Go Surfing at Raglan whether you're a surfer or not, Raglan is a great place to visit whenever you're in New Zealand. This is a little coastal town located less than an hour from Hamilton, and you'll be surprised at how much fun you can have in small towns. At Raglan, there are lots of interesting artisan shops and impressive food to try out. You also shouldn't miss out on their coffee if you're a caffeine lover. Meanwhile, the black sand of the beach is great for soaking your feet in as you walk around. Indeed, this is one of the best spots for surfing, so don't forget to bring your favorite board along or rent one around. For the best experiences, I totally recommend visiting the black sand Narui Nui Beach, as this is where all the magic happens. Number 3. Take your family to the Bridal Veil Falls you could take a short trek through the native forest to get to the top of the Bridal Veil Falls and view the city of Hamilton stretched beautifully below you. The Bridal Veil Falls is fed by the Pakoka River, and it's a lovely trek that you can take the entire family on. There is a section on the trail that is perfect for children's pushchairs, 
which makes taking little children along not so challenging. However, the highlight of this short trek is its magnificent views. Luckily, the top of the falls offers two viewing platforms, and you can choose any of these to enjoy breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape. No doubt you will be fascinated by the views. Number 2. Take in the Hamilton Gardens there are tons of great reasons why Hamilton Gardens is the most visited tourist attraction in Hamilton, but we'll give you one, which is that it offers a vast variety that's enough to fill your day with all the fun you want. This garden is so unique because it features several enclosed gardens with different themes. You could spend your morning strolling through a surrealist garden that feels like it was plucked straight out of Alice in Wonderland, and also spend the evening in the Renaissance Italy Garden. Of course, this is perfect for anyone with a short attention span who would love to stay entertained all day long. Plus, Hamilton Gardens is a fun spot to visit if you have a whole day dedicated to taking in the different ambiance in each garden. Number 1. Waitomo Caves While in Hamilton, you should also ensure to get first-hand underground entertainment at the Waitomo Caves, which feature a massive limestone landscape. Of course, years of consistent water deposits have turned this landscape into a pleasant labyrinth of caves that's worth exploring. These caves are massive, and luckily you can explore three of them through guided tours with friendly locals who will spin wonderful tales about the caves that you will totally enjoy. One of these trips will include an amazing boat trip through a cavern filled with glowworms. No doubt the result will be beautiful. Also, if you're really in for an adventure, you should get your kit out for some black water rafting because in your wetsuit and helmet you can squeeze through the deep cave systems and get a closer look for truly awe-inspiring views. Click here for more things to do in New Zealand.